Here we go. All right, all right, all right. We are back out on an official canoe camping trip. We're planning on targeting trout in the beginning half and then some pike in the second half. So we'll see, we'll see what fishing is best during this time of year. It is May Day, May 1st. Um, what you haven't seen yet, We'll show you some clips now it was me coming in i got here at about seven this morning um i did the i entered the pond we're going to from a different place and uh paddled across a lake did a portage and then paddle over and was able to secure the lean to the guys had just left luckily so um got the lean to and after that went out did a little bit of fishing and it rained pretty hard for a good majority of that time so i decided to go ahead and head back on that same portage paddle that same lake back to my truck load back up and go meet john at lower saranac where we left my truck and we put in at saint regis which is where we are at now loon just popped up it scared me We got one more shore portage until we're on our home lake where we're staying. This is Dad. This is this is canoe tripping in the Adirondacks in early spring. The end of that paddle, it started raining, pouring on us, and then hailing on us. And now the sun's kind of poking back out again. It's peaceful now. We made it. And it's nice and calm too. I expected a headwind to paddle into. We were just talking about how nice and peaceful and calm it was and now we're paddling into a pretty strong headwind and rain. Sideways rain. Yeah, it's like four minutes later. <laughs> oh man. You gotta love it. I love the Adirondacks. We love doing this. We got a nice dry lean to to panel to right now. That's awesome. We got steaks and Brussels sprouts for dinner tonight. That's gonna be delicious. Logan brought some garlic butter. Now we got, got a couple of white caps now too. Alright, we'll see you at Kino. Home sweet home. Fast forward a good couple of hours. We are all set up. We are about to go look for some wood now. We gotta get in, relax, set up. That was a long day. We were successful in finding some wood, some hardwood, so we can cook our steak and have a good bed of coals tonight. All right, John and I are just getting ready to go fishing. Go out and try this evening bite. It's nice and calm again, so. Till we get out there. Yeah, till we get out there. We're going out without rain gear. We've got wood so we can get warm by the fire if we have to. 
But it's not supposed to rain. Allegedly. Alright guys, we're off for our evening troll session. Right after getting our wood. And now it's just... It's peaceful again. Here we go guys, I just heard Logan back there laughing. You all know you had it. That moment you leave camp and you think you should probably wear your rain gear. But the forecast says it's not supposed to rain. Yeah. Got us again. Sorry, John. Now it's time to rain a little harder. I'm getting pretty wet. Oh, no. <clears throat> Should we go back? We're heading back. Even though you see off in the distance right there. Some beautiful weather is going to be coming in here in about... I don't know. We'll say 30 minutes. Wow, look at that rainbow. That's as pretty as a view can get. You know, over here, the sun is out and the rain is just coming down in the sun. It's hard to see from here. Look at that. Starts there, ends right there. I know. Rainbow's almost gone now, but that sunset behind me is going to be pretty nice. Sometimes you got to suffer a little bit to have amazing moments. It's just been this whole trip. Hey John, how long did it take that rain to go by? Five minutes? Like yeah, yeah, just like you called it. I was just saying this whole trip has just been nothing but ups and downs. Like a roller coaster, man. It's been a roller coaster. It's just for it's just night one. Yeah. We have five more days of this. It's too dark to see right now. But I have three loons just right in front of me fishing. <laughs> no luck on the fish. Gonna head in now and we'll get a fire going. I just sawed some of the bigger pieces of wood. Logan's prepping the fire pit and all the kindling for the fire. About to get it going. Everything's extremely wet, eh? <laughs> yeah. A little listen, wet, but we, we have a little teeter starter. Listen to those loons. Fire logs. Oh, man.
pretty cold out now. Got some Brussels sprouts in the bags. Logan's putting the steaks on. That's Logan's steak. Here comes mine. Logan likes the ribeye. I like the filet. That is going to be a good meal. These Brussels sprouts are going to be delicious too. And that fire is extremely hot. Those coals. Logan did a great job in the wet conditions. Oh man. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Would you look at that? What do you guys like better, ribeye or filet? Ribeyes. Filet. Time for the garlic butter. That's enough for me. Freshly made. It's. I wish you guys could smell this stuff. It smells so good. All right, my steak's done. I'm still cooking his up a little bit more. Let's see where we go. I might use a little bit more. Yeah. I just had a bite of my steak, but the garlic butter is phenomenal. Perfect. Brussels sprouts are finally done. Mmm, so good. Delicious. We're going to grub this, have a couple drinks, and we're going to hit the hay. So, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright guys, that's the end of tonight. Dinner was amazing. Today was a crazy day. What was your favorite part of today? Oh, you definitely know the ribeye steak. I was going to say the rainbow, but that ribeye steak, man, that was... The Brussels sprouts, too. Can't complain about those. Those were good. Dinner was amazing, but for me, it was that the sun the sun when the sun came out in the rainbow. Yeah, yeah, it, that was pretty it awesome. It changed up. We got a nice good night fire to enjoy while we're in the lean-to. and For sure. We're going to get some sleep. I need some sleep. Maybe we'll get up and fish in the morning. Maybe we'll sleep in. I'm not sure. But whatever happens, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Top of the morning. How you feeling, John? Yeah, I bet, man. <laughs> yeah it was just raining pretty hard this morning so we're waiting for that to blow over and we're about to get up and get moving mm. try to decide if we're gonna cook breakfast or go out and go fishing i'm not sure breakfast, breakfast first <laughs> get some coffee get a fire even though the fire pit's soaking wet <sighs> All night. Yeah, it rained all night. Yeah, we're finally out of bed. It's coffee time. Oh, that kind of feels good on the hands. There's a little. It's pretty cold out, guys. <laughs> my hands, I just got my hands wet when I was getting some water in the uh -huh. filter. Look at that. Singe the hairs right off. <laughs> Pretty nice sound to make coffee too. Logan and I were just talking about how there's a lot of loons on this pond this year. Got the coffee that Paul gave us. Thank you. It's raining again. The loons are, there you go.
This one's gonna be strong. Oh man, coffee really makes you feel. This coffee's good. really good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by the way, this coffee is delicious. Yeah. What was that called? Stick Boy. I think Stick. Paul, Paul's buddy makes yeah, it. Yeah, we'll show it again. Barrel Coffee, it's called. Alright, guys, we're fishing. Finally. Got a fish. First trout of the year for me. Don't come off, don't come off. I got lucky, I got snagged. I had to fix my snag. And as soon as I started going, I got a fish. That's a nice one too. Oh no! It came off right at the boat. It was like a 14 inch brook trout. Beautiful colors too. It was crossing in my other line and I was trying to get it out and it got off. <sighs> now we got a fish. Hopefully we keep this one on. I'm not going to mess with my other line. God, wait, you see this fish, guys. Oh. I gotta calm down for a minute. This is the nicest brook trout I've ever caught, I think. Might be a splake, actually. Alright, let me get this thing. It's a tangled mess on my other line. Guys, I caught this fish twice a little while ago. I got snagged up, I thought, and on my lost my hook, it broke off. It was in this fish's mouth. You guys ready to see this fish? Look at that. No, 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 you don't even try it. All right, we're gonna let him go see if he's, put him in the net, make sure he's gonna be okay. That's a big fish. I'm pretty excited right now. It's raining out pretty good. I can't believe I hooked that fish twice. It swam away good. It was a clean hook set on both the hooks and I was able to get them out easy. So we let that beauty go. Nicest trout I've ever caught, 100%. Gave him my best, but no fish for me. Luckily John got one. <laughs> but time to head in and get some brunch made. Just got our second cup of coffee going, now it's time for breakfast. Bacon's done. We figured out our favorite breakfast out in the woods. Usually eat this every trip. It's good. Mm. Good. Mm. Yeah, the silicone rings make it too. Mm -hmm. Headed on our afternoon trip. We'll do this portage up to a smaller trout pond and see if our luck's a little better up there. Let's see the beaver. <laughs> I 
That trip got cut short. We got probably a few hundred meters on the portage and it just started hailing on us like crazy. So right now I got my bow propped up and just taking shelter under it. It is coming down. Crazy weather. I think Logan's back under a tree someplace. Wow. It's just coming down even harder now. Still waiting for this storm to pass. Ah, we can't catch a break. When we were sitting at camp, it was beautiful out. All right, we're out of there. We got some wood from the trail. We're loaded up with it. We're heading back to camp. We were waiting that out for about an hour, hoping it would stop, but it's not gonna stop. So we're just, it's lightened up. And we're just paddling it. We can't get really any more wet. That's all right. We love this. Uh, I just got back over to the lean to, and of course it stops raining. But either way, I'm gonna go make a pass down the shoreline and see if I can get at least one fish today. I just went in and dropped the wood off, changed the battery in my camera, and came back out fishing. Logan still got the wood. We're just going to fish for the evening. It's already after 6 p.m. It's like 6.20 probably. We got stuck in that hailstorm and rainstorm for a while. So the plan is to fish for about an hour this evening, and then go in. We got to reset our tarp, try and get a fire. I mean, that was a monsoon. It's going to be really hard to get a fire. We should get one though. Cook some delicious jalapeno and cheddar cheeseburgers. Some asparagus and maybe some mashed potatoes as well. Raining pretty hard on us again. <laughs> I went into camp and unloaded all my stuff. And it was nice, stopped raining, got back in the boat, started fishing, starts pouring again. Gave it my best shot. No fish in the boat again today. It hurts the heart a little bit, but it's all good. Nature of the beast sometimes. Gonna head in process up some firewood and get a fire going to warm up, dry out a little bit. Hands are pretty much numb at this point. <laughs> Another cheater fire. Everything is soaked. We just put some work in finding and cutting wood. You can imagine this is a lean-to. You got to go pretty far to find some okay wood. He got her. This is without, a, without an axe. Without an axe, too. This is impressive. This is the smokiest, wettest fire we probably made. Yeah. The loons are calling each other again. They're going to call each other, they're going to huddle up and fall asleep together, then they'll separate at night. And they'll wake up around like 3 in the morning and start calling again and get back together. Guys, we burned this hardwood down. We almost got some good cooking coals. Oh. Ah. 
hot. Cheddar jalapeno burgers with garlic butter. And some asparagus with garlic butter. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat that. Got the buns down. Asparagus up here. It's done. It's delicious in that garlic butter. And I am extremely excited to eat this. Perfect. Yes. Well, in the asparagus too, right? The asparagus with the garlic butter. Is, it's crazy. Garlic butter makes it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. All right, got the fire stacked back up. I can't believe we're eating this meal after today. <laughs> <laughs> Coles will keep that going. Mm. Wow. All right, my turn. We've got our nighttime fire all set. Definitely going to have some good coals for the morning. Have some wood left off to the side. It's supposed to be pretty wet. As you can hear, it's still raining right now. So we want to have something to get up to in the morning and be able to warm up as we're packing up to get out of here. Wish me luck on getting a fish tomorrow. <laughs> good night. Fishing. I'll give it my best shot. John stayed in. I decided to gear up and come out and try fishing one more time before we decide to pack up and get out of here. All right, we got a fish. It's a splake. It's got the. Oh no, it's pretty flat. I think that might be a brookie. Well worth getting out to get this thing. About 18 inches. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Slimy little guy. I'm gonna get him back in the water. Wow, that fish was hungry. Here's a little bluegill that he was eating. Spit that out. Look at this. One of the little 
don't know what you call these little salamanders or whatever. Should throw that on his bait. Oh, that was awesome. Yes. Well worth coming out this morning. No more fish. Time to head in and dry off. Get this fire going. Probably start packing and cook some breakfast. I'm gonna do some pancakes today. I'm finally up. Good morning. Logan's already been up, caught a fish, paddled in. He just finished making coffee. I'm just up. I got my stuff packed up at least. I slept I can in. Enjoy this cup of coffee right now. Yeah, I'm about to do the same. Logan went out to fish. What time did you get up? Like 6.30 went out? Yeah. And he came back at 10 after 9. I was just waking up again. <laughs> so it was nice. I still I have a couple nights sleep. Now I'm ready. I'm, I feel 100% now after work. So we're going to get packed up here, make some pancakes, I think, and get on the water and fish out of here. <laughs> Head to <coughs> our next lake. We got... Five pike territory. Yeah, we're going to go after some pike now. We got five portages to do and six bodies of water. No, that's good. Master Chef John. It's a spot, man. I was pretty hungry. Time to head out. I don't know if I showed what the fire pit looked like before when we first got here, but it was a mess. So kind of rebuilt that. Hopefully people don't destroy it. Left a little bit of firewood there. Stored some under there for the next folks. Swept out the lean-to. Tried to leave it better than way we found it yeah light little sprinkle see if we can get some trout on the way out to our pike destination we're out of there had a good breakfast had a cup of coffee logan got a fish this morning a beauty too and now we're paddling out in the rain One portage done, we're on our second pond. We're probably not going to do too much recording on the portages because it's really cold and it's pouring on us. We expected this. It's going to be nice when we get to our next destination and get into nice dry clothes. Pond three. That portage is a little longer than the last one. The first one is probably like 100 meters. That one is probably a few hundred. And I'm just, I'm drenched. out of here we got two hop skip and a jump portages to do and then we're heading to the pike waters we didn't get a ton of trout on this trip but we got quality i'll take quality over quantity any day 20 inch or 18 inch i lost a nice looked like about a 14 inch at the boat that's pretty good hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and come back for part two and see how we did with the pike fishing yeah.